Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let's go ahead and start the, the camera, please. Start your cameras. I want to take a screenshot. Okay, uh, hold on a second, please. Okay, uh, Milagro, si puede apagar su micrófono, please. Just right, right now. Thank you. Okay, today is the 15th. Today is class number nine. Okay, let's do attendance uh, quickly. Ada Gabriela. Alba Patricia. Armando Antonio Bolaños. Brandon Eduardo Gomez. Present. Cecilia Beatriz Ramirez. Present. Cynthia Vanessa. Present. Tamari Saray. Gerardo Alberto Alemán. Jacqueline Xiomara Ortiz. Juan Antonio López. Julia, Julia, perdón. Julia Maritza Bautista. Present. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Present. Carla Iris Martinez. Present. Okay. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel Murcia. Present teacher. María Gabriela Alvarado. María Inés. Present. Ma, ma, Marina de Jesús, perdón. Marina de Jesús. Marvin Joseph. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Melissa Guardado. Present. Milagro Elizabeth, mira. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Microphone, Oscar. Okay, lo veo, pero no, pero no lo escucho. Eh, Raúl Edgardo. Ra Raúl Edgardo. Rosa del Carmen. Present teacher. Rubén Alonso Guevara. Rubén Alonso, perdón, Alfonso, Rubén Alfonso Guevara, Ruby Guardón, present, Celisa Saraí, Tania Fabiola, present teacher, Jose Alexandra, present, alguien que no llame, alguien que no escuchó su nombre, y yo Gerardo acabo de conectarme, ok, Okay, ¿Alguien más? Raúl, presente. Raúl, Raúl. ¿Alguien más que acaba de incorporarse? Ok, very good, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, excellent. So today we're going to look at 3.6 and 3.8. Okay, si ustedes ven, yo ya casi voy a terminar la, la sección 4. Eh, ustedes, ustedes ya deberían de estar, ya terminaron con la 3. Okay, ¿cuántos hicieron el examen ya? ¿Ya terminaron el examen midterm? 
yes, to a teacher. Yes, sí, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay. okay. Very good. Vi que bastante se actualizaron, se pusieron al día. Muchas gracias. Um, so, mañana, mañana viernes voy a poner notas. Esta, este fin de semana también. Quisiera poner ya sección 1, 2, 3 y el examen de la 3. Si ustedes ven, ya vamos por la, casi la 4. Ya voy a llegar a la 4 yo. Ok, y eso que yo voy bien despacio. Ok, let's go ahead and look at the conversation. Okay, so I need two people. Who wants to be Rachel? Who wants to be Angela? So I need two girls, two, two women. Two girls, two señoritas. Okay, um, Marina, very good. And Fabiola, okay. So Marina, you're going to be Rachel. Fabiola, you're going to be An Angela. Angela. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, go. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh. Eh. Marina, Marina, disculpe que se le está se le está cortando. Okay. No, no la puedo poner en mute. <ríe> ah, ya creo que ya sé por qué. Okay. Ya sé por qué. Ok. Eh, Marina. He's a front desk. Marina. Allen. Ok. Ay, disculpe, Marina, que este, tiene mala conexión. No la escuchamos. Ok. Malesa, Malesa, tú vas a ser Rachel. Ok. Malesa, Rachel, Fabiola, you're, you're going to be Angela. Ready? Ok, ok. Ok. Um, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like he the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. Interesting. What do he do? Actually, he is the manager. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yesterday we completed this. Remember when you're doing questions, information questions in the simple present. Um, aquí hay varias en la conversación. For example, where does your brother work? Right, that's an example. Simple present questions, right? So entonces la persona va a hablar con una rutina. He works in the hotel. Uh, uh, here's another. Does he like it? Yes or no questions with uh, do. What hotel does he work for? Okay. What does he do? These are questions with a uh, simple present. Okay. Here's the structure. If you want to, if you want to know the structure, the formula, it's WH questions plus do or does plus subject plus the verb in the complement. Where do where do you work? What time do you start work? How does she get to work? Or how do you get to work? What does she do at work? Okay. All right, and I told you, we didn't have time yesterday to finish. No tuvimos tiempo para terminar esta actividad, uh, but you can do it here. For example, uh, look, at the, look at the answer here. What do you think is going to be the question? Do or does? Does. Does. What time does she start? What sport do you do? Do. do? do. Correct. What sport do you like? When blank the bus arrive? 
Das. When does the bus arrive? Okay. Yes, correct. Uh, why blank you get up early on Sundays? Why do? Why do you get up early on Sundays? When blank does she get off or she finish work? When does? Does does. When does she get off? Or you can say when does she finish work? Okay. Where blank he live? Does. Does. Where does he live? Where does he live? He lives in Los Angeles. How blank she get to work? Does. How does. does she get to work? How does she get to work? And the last one, what blank your father do? What do you no. Does. does. You're talking about your father. Tercera persona, singular. What does your father do? He does. Okay. Very good. Uh, what time does she start work? She starts work at 6 a.m. What sports do you like to play on the weekends? I like to play soccer. When does the bus arrive? The bus arrives at... 8 a.m. Okay. Now, look, remember, simple present, right? Estoy hablando del, bu del bus, una cosa. Entonces, tengo que agregarle S. También acá. Third person, he, she. He, she, or it. S. Why do you get up early on Sundays? I get up early because I like to cook breakfast for my family. When does she get off? Or finish work. She gets off. Put an S on the verb. She gets off at 6 p.m. Where does he live? He lives in Los Angeles. How does she get to work? She drives her car to work. What does your father do? He works for the government. Okay. Questions? Easy, right? Piece of cake. Easy. Fácil. Okay. Speaking activity, right? So les dije que empezaran a, a, a trabajar esta. Pensar sobre alguna persona, algún familiar que ustedes pueden hablar de esa persona. Dar información de esa persona. Por ejemplo, what is her name? Where does he or she work? What is his or her occupation? What does he or she do at work? Activities? Does he or she wear a uniform? What are some activities that he doesn't do? For example, he doesn't work on a computer. Okay, questions? All right, so we're going to work this activity here. We're going to work in, in uh, small groups y vamos a completar eso. Okay, ustedes tienen que hablar de un, una tercera persona. Questions? Preguntas? No, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Question. Uh, the first question, Cecilia. Uh, 
tell about your family member, please. Okay. Um, you had a question? What, what is uh, the name of your family member? His name is Daniel. Daniel. He is my, mm -hmm. what? He is my husband. Ah, excellent. What is his occupation? He is security. You didn't have one. Excellent. And what does he do at work? He works in the office. Okay. Does he wear a uniform? He normally wears a uniform. Excellent. And what are some activities that he doesn't do? He doesn't uh, tell the people. He doesn't um, Un horario normal, ¿cómo se diría, teacher? Hey, ¿No trabaja un horario normal? No, son, 20, son turnos. Ah, ok. Ok. So you can say, he doesn't work a normal schedule. Ok, he doesn't a normal schedule. He doesn't work a normal schedule. Ok. Um, he doesn't... Hola, man. Okay. How old is he? What? How old? How old is he? He is thirty years old. Okay. Do you have a children, Cecilia? Yes, I have one children. Oh, it's boy or girl? Is a girl. Excellent. What is her name? Her name is Daniela. Daniela, how old is he? How old yeah. is she? She is uh, two years old. Oh, <laughs> it's a baby. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, it's your two, uh, Cecilia. Uh, si gusta, give, give the question a uh, Milagro. Okay. Milagro, what is it so her name? She she's a uh, she's his name Carmen. Her her okay. name is Carmen. Her name is Carmen. Sí. Her. Estás hablando de 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 un familiar, ¿verdad? Huh? Es mujer o hombre? Mujer. Her name is. Her. Her name is. Y después decía el nombre. Ah, okay. Her name is Carmen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where does her work? Where does she work? Perdón. Where does she work? She work in the factory construction of the buy. Okay. What is her occupation? She is a, a super quality supervision. supervisor. Okay. She is quality supervisor. Okay. What does she that award? Repeat for free, please. What does he do at award and uh, activities? What does she do at work? Right? ¿Qué hace ella en el trabajo? Right? Está ah, preguntando, okay. ¿qué hace ella? What does she do at work? She review the quality of the clothes and review the email you know, that told the people. In... 
She made a ripper. She makes makes she makes make the ripper yes. and other activities. Okay. Does she wear a uniform? Yes, every day. She she use it. She doesn't do. Perdón. Ah, la última. What? Ultimate, the last question. What are some activities that she doesn't do? She not. She doesn't. No. She doesn't. Okay, thank you. She doesn't. Um, ¿Qué no hace? Cobra los clientes sería. She doesn't charge customers. She doesn't sure. handle money. Ah, she doesn't not have a money for the customer. Only this. Okay. Okay, very good. You ask to manual. Okay. Pregunto yo a alguien ahora. Sí, a Manuel. Quiere preguntar. Terminamos. A mí, si okay. quiere. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Con he, si quieres, no, a ver. Con he. Va ahorita. Solo en un momento. Una, solo una pregunta antes al, al, al profesor, eh, que, ya que está ahí. Eh, uh -huh. Solo eh, porque depende de, la, de eso de la respuesta. Eh, no es lo mismo un vigilante que un oficial de policía, ¿cierto? No, no. O puede no. llamarse de la misma manera. No, no es lo mismo. Vigilante. ¿Cómo le puedo decir a un vigilante. Security, security guard. Security uh -huh. guard. Ok. Security guard. Police officer. Uh -huh. Police officer. Ok, eso era. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Uh, ya, yeah. Julia. Julia, puedes preguntar. <laughs> ok, entonces le pregunto de nuevo. Ok. Ok. What is his name? His name is Miguel. Ok. Where does he work? He works in the Vivian. Ok. What is his occupation? Uh, his occupation is a uh, uh, business advisor. Okay. Um, what? For example, if he doesn't work or it's a response a negative. Uh huh. Okay. Because a different context, no me entiende, no lo no lo logra comprender. Okay. Questions. Mm, okay, no. Oh. Okay. Finished? Yeah, finished. Okay. What other questions can you ask? What other questions can you ask about the person? Algunas otras preguntas que ustedes puedan formular? Mm. About the, the family member, the person that you talked about? The power column. What does the power column? Okay. Okay. Very good. Maybe you can ask uh, questions. Uh, maybe what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Okay. Uh, maybe you can ask more questions about the person. Right. Okay, so aquí yo les estoy dando las preguntas, pero piensen ustedes, ¿verdad? Para poder ustedes formular también. Okay, ya vamos a regresar. Okay.
Okay, hello everyone, welcome. All right, pudieron hablar de otra persona? Sí. Simple present. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Okay, questions? Okay, now we're gonna go to the next uh, lesson, which is 3.9. It's called placement of adjectives in conversations, okay? What is an adjective? An adjective describes the noun, right? Un calificativo, right? O algunas personas le dicen un adjetivo, calificativo, okay? So it's gonna give you more information about the person or the, the thing. Okay, let's read this conversation here. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am a fighter fighter now. You know, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous, okay? Very good. Let's Did go now. Question. Questions? Mm -hmm. uh, terrific is terrible. No, terrific is good. It's something good. It's like saying great, good, very good. Okay, thank you. Terrible is... Terrible is terrible in English. Terrible. Okay. Very good. Questions? What is this word here? Uh, this, uh, this question, que quiere decir ella when she says, um, for example, how are things with you? How are things with you? ¿Qué quiere decir ella? Es como, what do you do? Mm, sí, casi, ajá. Huh? Right? ¿Cómo te va a ti? More like, uh, these are friends, right? Estas son dos, dos personas que, se, que ya se conocen. How are things with you? ¿Cómo te va a ti? ¿Cómo te van las cosas a ti? Okay. Okay, very good. Now let's go ahead and look at the adjectives and how we can use them to describe nouns. Okay, we have different ways that we can say it, right? Number one, here I have a structure that we can use. We can use this. We can say first a profession, then a noun, the verb to be, and then an adjective, okay? For example, a police officer's job is very dangerous. Okay. A teacher's job is very fun. Bien divertido, very fun. Right, so donde está mi calificativo? Está aquí, verdad? Dangerous, fun. Solo que le he puesto very, verdad? Very no es un calificativo, sino es que solo para agregar stress or emphasis para intensificar, ok, so, esa es la primera forma que puedo usar, aquí hay una segunda forma, I can say profession, have or has, a, a and an adjective and then a noun, a waiter has a busy job, a pilot has an awesome job, Very good. I want you to uh, look at this vocabulary here. Let's focus on this vocabulary because this is the adjectives that we're going to use to describe uh, the next activity. Okay. Dangerous, repeat after me. Dangerous. Dangerous. Stressful, stressful, lleno de estrés, ¿verdad? Stressful, fun, fun. It's uh, something 
divertido, right? Something exciting and it's fun. Rewarding, rewarding. Um, rewarding quiere decir cuando algo te da, te trae bastante satisfac satisfacción, un trabajo que te trae bastante bienestar. Awesome. Awesome. This is like saying, for example, oh, great. Uh, very good. Terrific. Awesome. Next, challenging. Challenging. Challenging is algo que, un trabajo o algo que te trae bastante retos. Algo que trae bastante retos, que es bastante difícil. Challenging. Repetitive. Repetitive. Es un trabajo repetitivo. Something that you do all the time. Repetitive. Sociable. 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 Well paid, well paid, that means paga bien. Algo, una, un trabajo que paga bien. Interesting, interesting, right? Something that is interesante, interesting. Okay, questions? Preguntas? Questions about the vocabulary? Questions, questions, porque lo vamos a usar ahorita. No, teacher. Okay. Yes, you can use it for people and things. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Now, there's two ways, right? Aquí están las dos formas como hacerlos. Right? So, yo les he hecho uno, ustedes tienen que hacer la, la otra forma. For example, a, fires, a firefighter's job is very dangerous. ¿Cómo lo pueden decir de la otra forma? A fire has a very dangerous job. A very dangerous job. Yes. Correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one. A doctor has a very rewarding job. How can I say it? A doctor job. A doctor job. Is eh, very rare. Quiero ver si me sale el, el, el apostrofe, pero que no me sale. Ahí está. A doctor's job is very rewarding. Uh, re rewarding with a, with W, sorry. With a W. Okay, from W. Rewarding. Rewarding. Okay. Next one. A teacher's job is very fun. A teacher, teacher. has a teacher uh, has a, a very fun job. Very fun job. A yes. very fun. Correct. Yo. Correct. Good, good. Okay, next one. A businessman has a very sociable job. A businessman's job is very sociable. Businessman's job is very sociable. Yeah. Very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, perdón, escribí social mal ahí, sin L. Um, next, a pilot's job is very interesting. A pilot. A pilot, después tienen que usar have or has. A pilot has. A pilot has. 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 Is very interesting. Interesting. Very interesting job. Interesting. Interesting job. Interesting. Repeat. Interesting. In 
interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting job. Mm -hmm, correct. Okay. A lawyer has a very stressful job. Uh, and, and lawyer just is very strengthful. Correct. A lawyer's job is very stressful. Okay. Questions? Preguntas como hicimos esto? Questions? Okay. ¿Y cu Teacher. cuál sería la, la diferencia de los dos? Uh, Ninguna. No hay diferencia. No hay diferencia. It's the same. You're, you're communicating, you're saying the same thing. Mm. Le voy a poner una. Una foto en el, en el grupo. Hay una que sea más formal que la otra. No. No. Las dos son iguales. The same. Okay. Questions? Okay, now we're going to do the activity, right? Si no les queda duda, entonces vamos a la actividad. Todos pueden okay, hacer. Okay, let's go. Can you do it? Okay, very good. Ahí está la guía por si tienen alguna pregunta. Aquí estoy yo. Uh -huh. Questions? Eh, dice nada más eh, le, la pregunta, porque los, los ejemplos que hicimos son en, en, en singular. En el caso que son plural, eh, sería para, para la forma, eh, para form with no, con have. Sí, no, no es que sea plural, sino que estás hablando de, de, de yeah. you, I, we, they, cualquiera de los otros sujetos. Ah, okay, okay. Recuerda que ha, has okay, es solamente okay. para he, she, or it. Pero en este caso, okay. estamos hablando okay. de una tercera persona, tiene que ser has. Okay, very good. So this is the activity. You have to describe these occupations. Okay. So you have to describe these. Van a usar la gramática y el vocabulario. Okay. Y la foto que está acá. For example, uh, to me, my opinion, uh, a, a surgeon, un cirujano, a surgeon has a your job is very stressful. Yeah. Yo estaría bajo mucho estrés <laughs> operando a una persona. Right? So I think, in my opinion, a surgeon's job is very stressful. Or I can say, a surgeon has a very stressful job. Okay. A surgeon has a, a well-paid job. También, yeah. A surgeon has a well-paid job. Mm -hmm. So you can describe any of these occupations here. Okay. Very good. So si pueden, háganlo en una forma comunicativa primero. Y después pueden hacerlo si necesitan escribir ejemplos. ¿Ok? So me gustaría que lo hagan en forma comunicativa para que practiquen speaking. ¿Ok? Questions? All right, let's go to groups.
teacher, sorry, me sacó. No. Ah, ok. Estaba en, en, la estaba. ¿En qué grupo estaba? No te acuerdas. En las cinco con Xochitl y, y Luis. Ok, ok. Gracias. Eh, Raúl, pregunta. No sé si recibió la invitación para ir al grupo. Uh, a teacher has a stressful job. Okay. I I think that construction worker jobs construction worker job is very difficult. Okay. Um, the police officer job is dangerous. Okay. What is dangerous? Uh, what? Peligroso. Sí, peligroso. Thank you. Yes. A nurse has uh, mm, uh, interesting job, but in this moment is dangerous job. Okay. Podemos decirle todo, pero el, el sí. born with y el born with sí, cualquiera, la que, la que salga más, más cómodo para ti. Con las dos al mismo tiempo. Puede ser, puede decirlo. Puede ser, si, si, si dice las dos, mejor. Uh -huh. Yo porque me puedo más la dejas, realmente. Uh -huh. Esa me, uh -huh. se me quedó más. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, a doctor job is very, very well paid. Eh, a, a doctor has uh, a, a very well paid job. Okay. Next. Welcome to the machine. A bushman. 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 De ahí viene el dinero, ajá. Julia. Julia. Ok. Uh, uh, secretary job is very sociable. Uh, secretary has a, a fun a fun or dressful, no. A uh, secretary has stressful uh, a job. Has a stressful job. A secretary stressful? No, I didn't think you said has, right? In the second a secretary has. A secretary has a stressful job. Stressful, stressful job. Correct. Okay. Has. Okay. Painter. Welcome, painter. Mm -hmm. A painter job is very creative. Creative, sorry, teacher. Creative. 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 Okay. Creative. Creative. Uh, a painter, uh -huh. Yes. A painter has a cre creator job. Okay. Voy con de detective. Eh, a detective has a stranger job. Eh, stranger or dangerous? Est stranger. Eh, ¿Cómo, cómo? No sé cuál palabra quiere usar. Danger. Ah, dangerous. Dangerous. 
Dangerous. Peligroso. Uh -huh. Dangerous job. Yes. A detective has a very dangerous job. A very dangerous job. Okay. Julia. Julia. A chef. Architect has a very challenging job. Okay. I handyman. Hop is very. Mm, it's very. Repetitive. Repetitive. Pardon? Repetitive. Repetitive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I handyman has very repetitive hub. Job. La palabra job. 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 Mm -hmm. Trabajo. Job. job. Okay. Okay. Uh, construction worker. A construction worker's job is very well paid. Okay. A construction worker has a very well paid job. Okay. I'm very well. Um, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Well. Bell, bell up, oh, bell up. Mm. No, sí, no sé Between um, construction worker and police okay. officer. Uh, between construction handyman, architect, bellhop. Oh, bellhop. Bellhop. Bellhop is la persona que te lleva las maletas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bellhop. Bellhop. I bellhop job is very social. I bellhop has a very social job. Mm -hmm. A boxer's job is very dangerous. A boxer has a very dangerous job. I made my hop job is very interesting. Hop made my has a very interesting job. Okay. We finished, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. We're gonna go back right now, go back to the group now.
Say hello, everyone. All right, excellent. So I heard, I heard the groups. You guys did very good. Okay. No sé si alguien tiene alguna duda. Alguien no pudo hacer el, el ejercicio. Alguien tiene alguna duda? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Teacher, easy. Easy, right? Very good, very good. So ya van, ya van armando, verdad? Su, su, su vocabulario, su idioma. Ya van pensando ustedes sus propias ideas. Eso es bueno, verdad? Ya, ya el teacher no le está dando todo, sino que ustedes ya están formulando sus propias ideas. Ok. Perdón. Esa página no. Ok. Very good. Eh, solo quiero ver aquí yo de mi parte. Eh, les agradezco. Hay eh, muchas personas que se, se pusieron al día. So les agradezco a ustedes. Eh, eh, Insafora ahorita en estos días está haciendo auditoría. Porque ellos creo que renovan. Renuevan, perdón renuevan contratos y todo y muchas otras cosas durante esta época el año fiscal y todo eso entonces eh, les, les agradecemos de que ustedes pongan el esfuerzo de que eh, estén al día eh, muchas personas ya ustedes han escuchado la asistencia a, abandonaron el curso algunos nunca vi, nunca ingresaron pero está bien verdad pero el grupo que sí tenemos hay que mostrar que, que sí estamos trabajando um, Ok, so, eh, por ejemplo, Alba, eh, te falta sección 2 y 3. Um, eh, Brandon, sección 3. Eh, Juan Antonio López, eh, no sé si está activo. Una, sección 1, 2 y 3. Eh, María eh, Gabriela Alvarado, te falta sección 2 y 3. Marina de Jesús, sección 2 y 3. Y quiero ver quién más. Eh, Raúl, Raúl, te falta sección 2 y 3. Y me imagino que el examen también. Rosa del Carmen, sección 3 y el examen. Rubén, Rubén Alfonso, sección 2 y 3. Ruby, sección 1, 2 y 3. El Silsa Saraí, sección 1, 2 y 3. Y el examen. Ok. Very good. No sé si alguien tiene alguna duda con eh, algún ejercicio en la plataforma. Ok. No, Ok. Eh, sí, perdón. En, en mi caso ya lo terminé, profe, y solo eh, estoy regresando para, para hacer repaso cada vez. Ya terminé de hacer el examen final. ¿Qué es su nombre? Perdón. Manuel. Manuel Artista. No, pero usted no lo nombré. Ah, no, no. <ríe> no, no, no. Sí. Ok, um, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Algún ejercicio allá encima? No, teacher. Ok, eh, ¿han recibido ustedes algún comunicado de, de Insafor para... Empezar a tramitar ya papeles para el próximo curso o algo así. No, no teacher. No, teacher. Ok, eh, no se sorprendan de que en estos días les van a mandar esa información para que ustedes lo hagan con tiempo. Entonces, pónganse okay. al día allí. Eh, completen, si pueden, el curso. Pónganse al día. Yo sé que muchas veces tienen que solicitar esa información con, con sus empresas y toma tiempo. Entonces, por eso lo hacen antes. Ok. All right, uh, vamos a hacer la asistencia. Yo creo que ya solamente eso nos quedaba pendiente. Eso, esta semana, ya para el lunes, cuando regresemos, ya me gustaría que todos estemos en la 4, right? Iniciando la 4 ya, sección 4. Eh, ok, very good attendance. Ada Gabriela Rodríguez. Alba Patricia Guardado. Present. Armando Antonio Bolaños. Present. Brandon Eduardo Gómez. Present. Cecilia Beatriz Ramírez. Present. Cintia Vanessa. Present. Damari Saraí. Damari Saraí García. Gerardo Alberto Alemán. 
understand. Jacqueline Ciamara. Juan Antonio Lopez. Uh, perdón, eh, Julia Maritza Bautista. Present. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Present. Carla Iris Martínez. Present. Luis, Al Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. Manuel Murcia. Present. María Gabriela Alvarado. Eh, María Inés. Present. Eh, Marina de Jesús. Marvin Joseph Salazar. Present teacher. Eh, Melissa Guardado. Present. Milagro Elizabeth Mira. Present teacher. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Oscar. Present, present teacher. Ahí está. Ahora sí. Uh, Raúl Sarceño. Raúl Sarceño. Rosa del Carmen Polanco. Present teacher. Eh, Rubén, Rubén Alfonso Guevara. Ruby Guardón. Present. Ok. Silsa Saraí. Tan, eh, ta, sí, Tania Thanks Fabiola, same. perdón. <ríe> en Sochi, Alexandra. Ok, alguien que... Present. Eh, alguien que no, no escuchó su nombre. Ok, very good, guys. Eh, thank you very much. A las personas que están eh, pendientes, por favor, pónganse al día. Mándenme un correo si quiere, personalmente, solo teacher. Ya terminé, gracias. Ok, y ya. Eh, para que yo pueda actualizar esas notas, ok? All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, have a good night. Ok, I'll see you next week, Monday. Ok, bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.